My name is Julius McGee. I am a PhD student at the University of Oregon in their sociology program. So when I came into the program, I kind of had that sense right from the start that I knew I wanted to, you know, look at whether or not there was a, a difference between the organic I had been consuming in the area. So, you know, mostly through local co-ops and farmers markets and the organic that was incre I was increasingly seeing in conventional grocery stores. So the point of my analysis was never to, you know, sort of, you know, point out that organic has sold out or that organic farming is this grand evil that's kind of been, you know, built up to be something that it's not. The real point is to show people that, you know, when we introduce things in our society that are meant to be sustainable, that are meant to sort of address environmental harm, those things are embedded within a social context, a greater social context. And so just because we introduce organic farming or renewable energy doesn't mean they're going to have the impact we want them to have. In fact, a lot of that is based on the social context in which they get implemented. So with organic, it has to do with the way we relate to food, right? The certification of the USDA really serves as a way to help corporations enter into the organic market by watering down standards. And so that's the social problem that's associated with organic farmland, not the actual idea itself. What we find is the idea is watered down in order to, you know, allow organic to be in these conventional grocery stores as opposed to just being in farmers markets or part of CSAs. So I think that's something that we really need to consider, which is how much of our problem in terms of our environmental problems from food production are derived from just the technology or the actual social context in which we produce food.